let's take a look at this question. Suddenly, now you have an x plus 5, which is the absolute value, but remember before how the equation would equal to a number? Well, guess what now? Oh, we're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Sorry. It's going to actually equal to an equation. Well, don't freak out about it. It's, it's actually quite easy because they are linear equations, and linear equations are a lot of fun to work with. Here we go. First thing that I would do, I would look just at this absolute value guy here, and there's several different ways of doing a linear equation. You can use x-intercepts, y-intercepts, or you can use the old trusted y equals mx plus b. Let's do this one first as an x-intercept, y-intercept thing, just to show you. Now, look, x-intercept equals to zero. Remember, we're just plotting this guy, and we're going to compare it to this guy later. So let's just concentrate on him. All right, so this would be like saying y equals to x plus 5, right? Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to take my y, I'm going to make it equal to 0. There's my x plus 5. Move the 5 over, now I've got x equals to minus 5. Oh boy, that was so tough. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's where x equals to minus 5. Beautiful. And remember, that becomes our critical point when we're doing this, too, because that's where the graph is going to bounce. Remember, it bounces off the x-axis to make that nice, beautiful V-shape. Remember, we can't have anything below the x-axis. It doesn't belong down here because this is an absolute value function. Okay, let's, I, I digress. Let's keep going with what we were just doing. Okay, so now we're gonna do the y-intercept. Now, the y-intercept is even easier because that's when x equals to zero. So look at this original equation again. y equals to x plus five. Now, let me move this up a little bit here so we can actually see things. There it is, x equals to zero here. So that's gone. So look at this, y equals to 5. Oh my goodness, that's just too easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's get rid of the scribble stuff down here so it's nice and neat. Now, when you're drawing this here, sports fans, make sure you use a ruler. Now, I'm going to use this guy here. This is going to be a little bit more accurate. I'm going to pick a nice pretty color. There we go. I'm going to use my straight line function right off this beautiful program look at that oh what a beautiful beautiful looking line but remember a couple things one of the things that you have to remember is this if it has an absolute value y-intercept over here don't forget it's going to have an absolute value y-intercept somewhere over here as well all right it has a sister point because remember all of these guys are symmetrical what do i mean watch starting from this point that you know it's going to bounce count one two three four, five. Now, count in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five. And now, da 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 da, -da, -da that's got to have a sister point. And look at this. Count. One, two, three, four, oh, five. There's my sister point right there. And you could take this line now. You can go over here go, okay, give me this line. Take it from here and bounce it straight up through that sister point. And there's that V portion of the graph that we just have known to love and become accustomed to. I've grown accustomed to this graph. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, having way too much fun again. All right, let's go to this part over here. Now, I did one with intercept method. Let's go back to traditional y equals mx plus b. There it is. All right, so let's check this out. y equals 2. There's 4x minus 1. Cool. Let's just deal with it. That guy's minus 1. That means you have an intercept way the heck down here at minus 1. There's minus 1. I'll even label it for you. Look at that. No extra charge. Now, rise over run hey i'm gonna go up four one two three four i'm gonna go over one and now i'm gonna pick my line and let's pick a different color for this line let's see let's make it oh look at that green let's see if that works out nice i'm gonna draw my line from here going straight up it looks like it's gonna go about there holy smokes look at that i have an intercept I have an intercept that's approximately there. I think that's actually pretty darn accurate. Let's see what the coordinates of that intercept would be. One, two, and so 
first is two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm predicting the point to be two, seven. That's my prediction. But remember, this is graphical method. It's not perfect. So what do we do? Okay, let's go out and let's do this algebraically now. Oh, so much fun. Algebra. Now, remember a couple things when you're doing this algebra. Let's clean this up here because I'm going to need all the space I can get to do this algebraically. First things first, remember the definition of absolute value. The definition of absolute value, when you have an absolute value of x plus 5, according to the definition, you have to go and look at the positive version of this and the negative version of this. And you're going to compare both positive and negative versions to this particular thing. Sounds complicated. It isn't. Watch. Take the positive version of x plus 5. There's your positive version. That's going to equal to your 4x minus 1. All right? Now, if you were to solve this real simple, look, the x plus 5 doesn't change. That equals to 4x minus 1. Bring the x over, right? So minus x minus x. This gives you 5 equals to 3x minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. Check this out. That's gone, leaving you 3x equaling to 6. And let's move this down a little bit here. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. x equals to, oh my god, yeah. x equals to 2. Now, let's see something. Can we now use this original equation, because that was your first equation, and we can go y equals to x plus 5, put the x in there, get y equals to 2 plus 5 equals to, lo and behold, it equals to 7. Nice. Okay. So, we have confirmed that 2 comma 7 is the point. But wait a second. I also said, don't forget, you have to look at the negative version of this, just in case there's another intercept. Well, we can see graphically right here, there is no other intercept. There is just the one intercept. But we have to do the algebra. We have to show the algebra and see what that's all about. Okay, so there's our minus. So I'm going to take the minus version of this entire formula. So I'm going to go, let me clear off some stuff here. Let's get rid of this so I can see it. And that way, ah, here we go. The minus version of x plus 5. We looked at the positive version. Now we have to look at the minus version. And don't forget what this guy actually equal to. This guy equal to this beautiful thing way the heck over here. You see it? Okay. So that has to equal to the 4x minus 1. Now, distribute, right? Minus x. This is why we need brackets around that so that we can actually see the distribution of this. Now, check this out. Let's combine like terms, right? I'm going to add x to both sides. All right, look what I got. I have minus 5 equaling to, oh my goodness, this is going to be 5x minus 1. Now, I'm going to add my 1 to both sides. Add my 1. Aha. Uh -huh. So now I have minus 4 equaling to 5x. And now I'm going to divide by 5. Divide by 5. And x equals to minus 4. Four fifths. But wait a second. That tells you that there should be something at minus four fifths. Well, where is minus four fifths? Well, there's minus one. Minus four fifths would be about here. There should have been an intersection here. Well, guess what? There isn't. That just tells you that this particular point is extraneous, or what we call bogus. It doesn't work. Even though algebra says there should be something right here. There should be something right there. There isn't. Ah, okay. So that's called an extraneous point. Now, having done that, what do you do with that negative 5 over 4 or negative 4 over 5? You just ignore it. It's done. It's extraneous. It's an extra point that doesn't work. You just leave it out. So what's your answer then? Your answer is what we found out either algebraically at 2, 7, or we found it graphically at 2, 7 here. And we just happen to have exactly the same point, which is really nice. That tells you, make sure you draw an accurate graph. Now, am I done? I want to show you something incredibly cool. Now, I'm just going to put this on pause for a second. I'm going to erase the board, and I want to show you something really cool. Hold on.
Okay, Kitty Poos, we're back. Check this out. I left the graph there. I know that that answer was 2 comma 7. But sometimes, wouldn't it be nice to use your calculator on something like this? Well, of course. How would you go about using your calculator? Well, simple. Remember how this equal to y equals to something? Remember how this we graphed it by saying y equals to something? Well, in your calculator, we're going to say, okay, y equals 2. And when we pop up y equals 2, watch this. Here's my calculator. When I pop up y equals 2, lo and behold, look what I get. y1 and y2, don't I? All right, so let's go back back to our original question which is this guy right here and i'm going to make this guy y1 equals to the absolute value of x plus 5 and i'm going to make this guy y2 which equals to 4x minus 1. holy lo and behold look at that we're going to use that y1 y2 stuff again and let's see if we can find the right answer using our calculators okay so y1 is absolute value so remember how to find absolute value we hit math we go over to num and there's abs right there absolute value of x plus five okay so there's our first one let's mouse down let's find y2 y2 which was 4x minus one <gasps> wow graph it okay <gasps> look at that that's exactly what we have now remember we got to find that intersect second Calc, look at that, number five, intersect. Hit the five button, mouse a little closer, okay. Enter, 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 and look what we have as an answer. So in this particular podcast, I showed you three ways of finding the answer. One, using y equals mx plus, e plus b, an intercept method, just graph it. Number two, I showed you the algebra. And number three, I even showed you how to do this on your calculator. You're welcome. Oh, that's so awesome.